Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial we are going to add coins. As you can see we have coins in our level and we can pick them up. Of course we are going to create the UI element that displays the number of coins. We have 8 coins now. And I'm gonna show you how to use the player prefs, which is the easiest option to store your coins. So whenever we replay the game, the number of coins will be saved. As you can see, we have nine coins using the player prefs. Even if you close the game and go back, you will see that the number of coins is the same. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is what we left off from the previous video. We've created this simple level. And let's start by adding a coin to it. So the pack that I'm using, which is the free platform game assets, has a coin animation. We're going to use this folder. And you could find the link of this asset under the video description. We're going to open the PNG folder. Here we have the coin animation. And to create the coin with the animation, you just need to drag these images from the first one to the last one. So let's drag in these images under the hierarchy and Unity will create an animation by default and let's give it a name like coin then hit save and let's change the name to coin as well of course you can't see it for now and to fix that we change the order in layer to a bigger number like 8 then let's change its position we can select the move tool and let's move it on top and if we hit play and yeah we have our coin but whenever we pass through it nothing is happening so we need to add the logic basically we are going to create a coin script and attach it to this coin then we can use the on trigger method which is called whenever the player passes through the coin in such case we are going to increment the number of coins that we are going to store in a new variable and to do that first we need to add some kind of collider to the coin or the function will not work so let's add a box collider using add component then box collider 2d then make sure to check this option is trigger because we don't want the player to collide with these coins after that let's create a new c sharp script I'm creating the script under the scripts folder. Let's right click, create, C sharp script, and let's call it coin. And make sure to attach the script to the coin. Then let's start by deleting these two functions. And let's use the on trigger enter 2D function. So this function is called whenever we pass through the coin. Then we need to check if it's the player using this collision variable. We've already used the on trigger enter function in the previous video to handle this checkpoint system. So we are going to check if it's the player using collision dot transform dot tag equals the player. And if it's the case, we are going to destroy the coin. But before that, we need to increment some kind of a coins variable or number of coins. So let's create this variable under the player manager and here we put all of the global variables like the number of coins using public then we add the static word the type is int and let's call it number of coins then each time we pass through a coin we are going to increment the variable using player manager dot number of coins plus plus after that, we can destroy the coin using the destroy function and let's pass in game object. That means the game object that has this script, which is the coin. And that's all what you need to add a pickup coin system. And to check if it's working, we need to display this number of coins variable. So under the player manager script, I'm going to use a debug.log under the update function. Let's make debug.log and let's display the number of coins which is going to be 0 by default and once we pick up a coin we are going to increment it by 1 
Also make sure that the player has the player tag. Under this tag, make sure to select the player. Then let's hit play. By default, the number of coins is zero. And if we trigger this coin, as you can see, it's one now. Now let's display this variable using the UI elements. And to do that, it's very simple. We just need to create a text. And to create a UI element, we use the canvas. So this is created by default when we have created the game over a screen. So let's right click UI and let's use a text or I'm using the text mesh pro which is better and let's call it coins text then I'm gonna move it to this corner using shift alt we can select this option then let's change the text for example coins then colon and the number of coins which we are going to change using the script so we need to update this text and to do that we need to go back to the player manager script and let's add a reference to it and because we are using the text mesh pro we need to add the namespace text mesh pro then we can create the text mesh pro variable using public and the type is text mesh pro ugui i'm gonna call it coins text we're going to assign it from the inspector and each time instead of using this debug.log Let's update our UI text using coins text dot text equals and we are going to add coins then colon then we need to concatenate the actual number of coins using plus number of coins so this is going to add the text coins then the number of coins so let's save our script then make sure to select the player manager and we need to reference our text which is this text and let's hit play and now we have the coins is zero and whenever we trigger the other coin as you can see it's one so instead of using this coins text let's add a coin image which is actually under this folder but first you need to create a UI image using right click UI and we have the option raw image or image I'm gonna use the image option let's call it coins image and let's move it to the top left corner as well using shift alt then we can change the sprite from this field you could drag in the image under the source image sprite and let's change the width and the height I think it's a little bit big and we don't need to write the coins text we just need to write the number of coins but we need to move it in front of the image and the better option is to put this coins text under this coins image so we need to make sure that this text is a child of the image then we can change the x position for example 50 or maybe 70 now whenever you move the image the text will move with it that's because it's a child of this coin I think 15 by minus 15 is okay then let's go back to the script and we only need to display the number of coins but if we get rid of this string you see that we have an error basically we need to assign a string under this text and the solution for that is to convert this number to a string using dot to string now let's save it and test again so we have our text the number of coins is zero now it's one and we can add as many coins as you want but the only problem is whenever we exit out of the game and replay again you see that the number of coins is zero we need to make sure to save this number and the solution for that is the player prefs basically we can use it to store a variable under a memory location and whenever we play the game again we can load that variable from that memory location so that sounds a little bit complicated but it's easy to use the player prefs and to do that let's go back to the script so whenever we restart the level this awake function is called and we can use it to load the value of the number of coins and to do that we just need to write number of coins equals 
we have this player prefs then dot get int so this function takes a string and that's the key we can call it number of coins and it doesn't need to be the same as the name of the variable so this function will search for this key number of coins if it is stored under a memory location it's gonna bring the value and assign it to the number of coins but if it doesn't exist it's gonna create a new one with a default value and our default value is zero basically we need to pass it as a second parameter and of course we could change the value that is stored under this key using the setInt function for example whenever we trigger a coin we are going to increment the number of coins also we can store it using the player prefs so that we don't lose it using player prefs and here we are going to use set int. basically we give it the name of the key which is number of coins and the second parameter is the value that we want to store under this key using player manager dot number of coins and now whenever we reload the level the awake function will be called and it's gonna check for the number of coins which we have stored under a safe location it's gonna load that value and assign it to the number of coins and that's how we use the player prefs it's the easiest way to store your variables without losing them and to check that it works let's hit this play button the number of coins is zero and whenever we trigger this coin it is one and if we lose for example and hit replay you see that we have one coin and we can pick up this coin as well so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to put it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my next videos and i will see you in the next one